Hey guys, this is Craig from GigFest, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Facebook custom audiences to reach more fans. All right, let's get right into it. I'm not gonna, no fluff, no nothing, whatever. Subscribe below, hit the thumbs up. I got some really good stuff coming up, so I'm pretty excited. But anyway, do all that stuff so we can get started right now. I'm gonna show you, you go into Facebook Ad Manager, and this, this is what, if you're wondering how everybody's using, like how to get fans, how to, how to find new fans, how to get, uh, Spotify plays, Spotify playlists, and stuff like that. This is really the base of what everybody's doing. I've been studying this for a long time now, and I'm gonna give you something that usually you pay people for, so let's just check it out. We're gonna go into Ad Manager for Facebook. So if you don't have an Ad Manager account, you're gonna have to create one, which is easy. Now, I'm gonna give you a word of caution, like, I'm gonna jump way ahead right now, but like when you get into Facebook advertising, you start advertising, you're going to be walking on eggshells. Their bots will look and see if you say the wrong thing, they're gonna shut you completely down. They could even deactivate your account. So make sure you follow the rules. Don't try to be deceptive in any way. And even when you're not being deceptive, if you say certain words, the bot might it might find it might just shut you down just because it doesn't it thinks you're doing something bad and then you have to appeal so just a word of caution before you get started don't don't even think deceptively in any way because if you do you're going to get shut down real quick and i've been shut down several times my account still it's active now but um as lessons learned, man, you're just kind of going through, man. They got a lot of robots going on, you know, that machine learning, artificial intelligence, working on everything so that they don't have to pay people to actually manually review it, manu manually review it. <laughs> but they will if you do get shut down. But anyway, just a word of caution. So anyway, let's get into it. So the campaign, we're going to go into ad manager and then we're going to click on the top of the screen and we're going to go to audience insights you might if it's not up there as a shortcut then you're going to have to click it uh, scroll down to get to it so now what audience insights is is i'm going to pause this right here so what audience insights is is that it's where you can go and you can do your research for the audience you're trying to target like most of the time things don't work for people when it comes to like Facebook advertising and like reaching new people through this is because they're not targeting the right people or they're not, um, they just didn't do the research to begin with. They're just kind of praying and spraying. Like, okay, I'm just going to do this and um, hopefully it'll work. So anyway, this is these, what I'm going to show you right here is what's worked for like 80 90 percent of the people maybe even more than that so this is like really the basis of where you should start now what first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose an audience and do everybody on facebook then you're also going to use united states like i start with the united states but later on i'm not going to get into that in this video but like later on you can add other countries that might be relevant for you like this is mostly geared towards United States people, but you know, United States, if you make it here, you can make it anywhere. That's just, that's just the truth. So, um, a lot of times you're from another country, you might have more appeal here. Joe Bonamassa from, he's from the United States. He didn't get any fame or any stardom until he went over to Europe. Uh, David Hasselhoff, who knew he was like a star over <laughs> halfway around the world in music of all things. So anyway, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to keep it at United States for now. And then we're going to go and we're going to change. I change the age and I usually use age as 21 because anybody under that, I don't know. I don't want to waste my money on because first of all, if I'm selling something to them, they're not going to buy it. And I don't know. I just look for just a little more maturity. Uh, no offense if you're younger, but that's just the way it is. So now in interest box, that's where, let me step back a minute. What I'm going to do is I posted a, a new post on my personal band page. And I honestly have done nothing with that band page for years. And just recently I started just posting things to it. Like applying the techniques that you can find in hometown hero ignite. And I have a link below for that. And 
it's starting to grow and I want it to grow faster. So what I'm going to do is kind of bump it up. I have a, a post that got some decent engagement. Now I boost that post and who am I going to boost it to? Well, it just so happens that this post is a picture of me at the Kenny Wayne Shepherd show. And I love, I love the picture. So it's so cool. But anyway, I use it all the time. But anyway, um, I'm going to boost that to people that might have been at that show and that like Kenny Wayne Shepherd and like people who like Kenny Wayne Shepherd. So I'm going to boost it to them. And then what I'll do is just get some engagement. It's just going to be a ch very cheap ad. It's going to be like 10 bucks a day. And I mean, you could do five bucks a day. I've done the same thing and you can get a lot of engagement depending on how good your, your post is. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating an audience so that I can boost that post to this specific audience. I'm not just going to boost it to anybody. I'm going to boost it to this specific audience. So since it was a Kenny Wayne Shepherd show, I'm going to put Kenny Wayne Shepherd as an interest. And then I'm going to take it one step more than that. I added Kenny Wayne Shepherd as my main interest, but then I also go to page likes down to who anybody who liked Kenny Wayne Shepherd also liked these other bands as well. Johnny Lang. Um, I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. I, I didn't use that one. Um, and some of these other ones. So anyway, I end up putting those in and that becomes my custom audience. And again, this is just kind of the beginning of it. And since I'm just promoting a post, uh, this is going to be fine for right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to post this. I got my little custom audience. You can do the same thing. It post, uh, put a post on your, your band website, your, I mean, your band Facebook page, and then, uh, boost it to a custom audience like this. So subscribe because I'm going to follow up with this and give you more information on this. Now, if you really want to start with a solid foundation and, you know, it starts with the electronic press kit and that electronic press kit and then setting up your your fan page you know you're, you're making sure your social media is set up right and then you're getting fans and you're turning them into super fans you're booking gigs you're contacting the venues the way you need to contact venues and then you know you're getting those super fans they're coming out and they're following you to every show you play i mean this is part of that whole process i've outlined it all in hometown hero ignite and really it's it's tons of information it's just like it's almost overwhelmingly packed with too much <laughs> i just went to an ad today i got an ad and i thought oh this is intriguing you know because i'm always i'm always as a marketer as a music educator as you know a helper of musicians and bands like i'm, all, I'm always looking out for you guys so i went and i went to this i clicked on this ad and i looked and i'm like this guy was selling this product for 29 bucks, which is a great price, but it was one thing. And then he gave you one other little dinky bonus. And I thought, holy smokes, maybe I'm over delivering way too much in Hometown Hero Ignite because you just get so much stuff. It's just crazy. Um, and the price is so low. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to charge more so you guys perceive the value to, to be a lot more because it's just packed with tons of great information. I could sell it, every little thing in there for a, a lot, but I don't. But anyway, the whole point of today is how to use Facebook custom audiences, like just a very beginning part of that so that you can reach more people and you can grow your fan base on Facebook and as, you know, as a whole. So... Hopefully you got something out of this. I'm Craig from Gig Festival. Dude, I got some great stuff coming up. So excited. Like what you should do is go to gigfesteruniversity.com. Like if you're not, if there's free stuff. There's tons of free stuff. I give stuff away like crazy, just like this. And uh, go there and, and check out all this stuff. And if you can afford it, buy something, do some training to help yourself get better and, you know, promote your band and, you know, just... It's, it's a lot more fun when you have people coming out to your gigs, whenever you have people listening to you, whenever you have people listening on Spotify, whenever you have people interacting on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So anyway, do that. And remember, if you want to succeed, never quit.